Shih Tzus were bred in Tibet in the 17th century and were very popular in China, where they were domesticated. In both China and Tibet, the climatic conditions are similar. This makes them more suitable to colder climates. But can they survive in hot weather? Let us find out in this video of Shih Tzu Care. The normal body temperature for a Shih Tzu is 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Even a slight increase to 103 degrees Fahrenheit means the dog can face heat stress. A Shih Tzu will experience a heat stroke when the temperature reaches 106 degrees Fahrenheit, which could be fatal to your furball. Does it mean Shih Tzus cannot survive in countries with high temperatures? Of course they can. Shih Tzus have gained immense popularity among people all over the world, so certainly they can survive in hot climates too. However, there are some precautions that need to be taken for their well-being. Let's have a look at them. The best way is to keep Shih Tzus indoors during the daytime. Keep them hydrated with access to fresh water throughout the day. The water should be cold, but not freezing cold. A polar type bowl will keep your pet's water cooler for a longer time. Give them dog toys to keep them engaged, exercise them indoors, or take them for walks in the late evenings. Be sure to keep the room aerated or turn the fans or AC on as the case may be. Provide shade if you have a yard. If you have a big house with a yard, have the area covered so that there is shade, and yet allow for air and natural light. This will make the heat somewhat bearable when your pooch roams in the yard. Install a water mister in your yard. A water mister is an excellent investment for your yard. The outdoor misting system keeps the surroundings cool by absorbing the heat in the air as the water evaporates. Your pet will certainly love this mild spray of a water mister and also be protected from the scorching heat. An occasional dip in a doggy or a kiddie pool. Not particularly known to be water babies, Shih Tzus can still be treated to a dip in a doggy pool. Alternatively, a kiddie pool filled with one to two inches of water works well too. This will help them cool down and refresh them. However, do not dunk them in it. Introduce them to the water gradually, else a sudden change can have an adverse effect. Trim their hair. The summer is ideal to try a new haircut on your Shih Tzu. Some of the popular ones are teddy bear cut, practical top knot, top knot show cut, and my favorite, the lion cut. Just to be clear, I am talking about trimming and not shaving their entire coat. Shaving their coat increases the risk of skin problems, so avoid that. Despite taking the necessary precautions, if your Shih Tzu does suffer from a heat stroke, here are a few things you can do. Carry your pet indoors or to a place with shade. Basically, take them away from the heat. Turn on the fans and AC and open up the windows to allow air to circulate freely. Meanwhile, do inform your vet that your Shih Tzu has suffered a stroke. Place towels soaked in cool water all over your pet's body. Get your pet to take small sips and gradually increase the water intake to gulps as they begin to feel better. This will lower your pet's temperature to its normal levels, and it is now safe to take them to your vet. Just like we as humans take extra care in summers, Shih Tzus need some extra care too on hot days. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more Shih Tzu care videos.